fact, the pollution of blood, sex, between an unlawful partner, the, sh the shedding of blood had to be brought forth. The G Mary had to be virgin born because the first act was something not virgin whatsoever when Adam came to Eve. And so the counteraction of that sin in the garden that Mary had to receive a germinated blood cell. So the types and shadows, Brother Lonnie, are fantastic. Yeah, you said Mary had to be virgin born. I think you meant Mary had to ha give, give a virgin birth. Right, exactly. Yeah, That's, what I, meant. Yeah, That's yeah, what I meant. I knew that, but <laughs> yeah. I wanted to make sure because yeah, we have go. some other churches that teach yeah, in right. another direction. Yeah, I didn't, yeah, there you go. <coughs> I had a series of questions bent down here, which, which are, he's touched on some already, but I'd like to just to repeat for our, for our audience so, so that they can, they can catch it. Now, now, Adam and Eve fell from the word, but of course our subject is, is what did that fall Manifest. Then he talked about eating, eating the vessel and getting, getting the seed mm -hmm. principle. And the, the same principle is true within a church. The, the same thing that happened with Eve here. Now listen close. When Eve opened her thinking mm -hmm. to receive the serpent's doctrine, she received the spirit of the doctrine. Hmm. Now she's listening through a spirit, another spirit's ears Amen. and hearing what the serpent is saying and it sounds absolutely logical because she's not listening in her own nature anymore. She opened herself up to another spirit and then, and then that's why the scripture said she was deceived in the transaction mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. she thought she was doing right. And church after church has opened themselves to some false doctrine with the false doctrine comes a false spirit. Jesus said the words that I speak to you, they are spirit and life, eternal life. If Satan were to talk to you, he'd say the words I speak to you, they are spirit and death. But let me just read a few of these here. I've got some, it's a repeat and I know. Okay, if Eve ate an apple, as most groups teach, would an apple make a person realize they're naked? No but there's one other act that would make him be aware of that. Mm -hmm. If the punishment fits the crime, why was Eve punished, punishment to be pain in childbearing? Mm -hmm. does, it, does the two fit eating an apple and pain in childbearing? No, not, not apples and childbearing, but there is another act that if done wrong would surely fit. And how is it that God chose circumcision as his mark of an elect people. Does circumcision have anything to do with eating? Mm -hmm. No, but it certainly marks a befitting uh, problem. Mm -hmm. And Jesus came as the cure, the antidote for sin, then why didn't he bring another fruit? But instead he came as a virgin birth, mm -hmm. balancing the scales for what happened in Eden, because uh, like Jeff said, there has to be a restoration of a pure bloodline. And so all of these we see tied together for one thing, and that's a sex act. And that, and that all these said, the, the question, why blood? That's a, that answered because the bloodline was polluted in Eden. And so all of these things tie together, relate together to the original sin, which we're still got much more to go. Now, who wants to pick it up from here? Well, Brother Stephen, I was curious if you could elaborate on what Brother Lonnie said on, on, on chapter 3, verse 16, under the woman. And uh, where it says that uh, he said, I will greatly multiply thy sorrow and thy conception. And I think that's just excellent. I think it's important that uh, if we go back to verse 14. Okay. The Lord God said to the serpent, because you've done this, you're cursed above all cattle, above every beast of the field. And on mm. your belly you'll go and dust you'll eat all the days of your life. Snakes don't eat dust. Mm -hmm. We know that his legs came off and we know that he went on his belly. Mm -hmm. But snakes don't eat dust. Um, this is going back to the spiritual concept that mm -hmm. Brother Lonnie mentioned is mm -hmm. that once Eve started thinking through the spiritual filter of the serpent, uh, she, she was deceived. Mm -hmm. The church today mm -hmm. is still serpent food. Mm -hmm. the, the, we are made from the dust of the ground. Satan wants to bring us down. Mm -hmm. He wants to devour us mm -hmm. with his false doctrine. Mm -hmm. And that's what uh, the Lord said to the serpent, you will eat dust. The, but that is going to—that is what your mission is going to be. Mm -hmm. You're to be the adversary. You're to be the one that 
tries to, and of course he's addressing Satan that mm -hmm. was behind the serpent mm -hmm. when he says this. But now in verse 15, he goes on, now he's saying, you're going to be the adversary, you're going to bring false doctrine, you're going to try and bring the people down. Mm -hmm. But here's my antidote. And look at what Hallelujah. God goes to as the antidote. Amen. He says, and I will put enmity between you and the woman and between your seed and her seed. Two so seeds. God two immediately seeds. shows that there were two seeds and he will bruise your head, you will bruise his heel, but eventually he will win. And what do we know was the fulfillment of that? Beautiful. It was the Virgin Mary that Beautiful. you spoke about, that she had to be a virgin in order to produce the Christ child. Mm -hmm. And in through doing that, mm -hmm. he would break the pattern that mm. had been set from mm. the garden when the serpent uh, beguiled or seduced Eve and took away her virginity, making it impossible mm -hmm. for her to be the, the mother of the, uh, the virgin-born uh, Christ. <laughs> Amen. And that's why uh, we know that there's a... Um, and I wanted to emphasize where it says between right. thy seed and her seed. So there's two seeds. There's a serpent seed mm -hmm. and the woman's seed. And folks, we're going to continue on with this subject and I, the camera happens to be on me, so I'm going to go ahead and close out here. Where God bless you. We'll be with you next time and continue this subject. Stay with us. Well, friends, we uh, stumbled over some of our words in this uh, session. I want to make sure we understand. Mary received a germinated blood cell as the Holy Spirit overshadowed her. She was not virgin born. But to bring forth the virgin-born tabernacle into which God stepped at the River Jordan when John baptized him, that was her purpose. Then the virgin birth was necessary to produce, the Bible says, the blood of God, Paul calls it, to redeem mankind because of the original sin which had been polluted and the bloodline when Satan injected into the human race animalistic sex drive and his nature into the human race. And again, I say to hear the story in full, go to our website or fax us or write us for either this uh, series of four sessions or the original sin as Stephen Strew preached it. Friends, today's program is one of a four-part series entitled The Fall in Eden. All four are available on a single DVD. In addition to this series, minister and professor Stephen Strew examines this topic in greater depth on a DVD entitled, The Original Sin. Your host, Brother Lonnie Jenkins, has also written a booklet called The Original Sin, which is available free of charge. To obtain these DVDs or the free booklet, write to us at Global Answers at 1695 Stewart Road in Lima, Ohio. Zip code here is 45801 here in the USA or visit us on the web at globalanswers.us. While there, look for a downloadable pamphlet entitled Serpent Seed with more information on today's subject. Thank you for joining us.